Welcome back to the channel and our layout series. And before we get started on this last episode, um, thank you for supporting the channel and please subscribe if you haven't already. In this episode, we're going to finish up our electrical plan. We've already created all the shapes that we're going to use and we're going to put those into place. We're going to copy and paste them and put them in place and then draw our dashed lines from the shapes to our lines. So this is our plan set nine. We have our four shapes over here to the right. I'm simply going to start placing my dollar symbol, which is our light switch, in the positions that they need to be. And I'm from the book, I'm looking off of our plan set nine drawing three. If you don't have that one, simply put where you think there should be. Most of the time, whenever you walk in through the door, it's gonna be right there on the right side. So we're gonna put one here, we'll put one here, same thing here, we'll put one on the inside of our kind of walkway, same thing here, here, and here. Um, your closet, we'll put one out here. And so that's kind of the general layout that we're gonna do. So in order to copy and paste, like almost everything to do with computers, you'll select it, do control C, and then control V. If you hover over it, you can then select it and move it to where you want it to be. I'm gonna put my first one over here. If we zoom in, you'll see a little dot. If you hover over that dot, you can rotate your text 90 degrees. And that's kind of what we're going to do going around. So let's create another one over here. So control C, control V. Put it there. You can use your arrow keys in order to kind of fine tune where you want that to be. We have another straight one. So control C, control V. We have another straight one that's going to be kind of right here in this little corner. Control C, Control V. We have one right here in this little office. We can copy and paste this one for our bedroom. And copy and paste. Delete that one, reselect this one, do control C, control V, and this one is going to go right here on the outside part of our closet. And we have one inside of our bathroom. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our lights. Do control C, control V. We're going to place one right there. Do control C, control V. We're going to make one kind of centered on that sink. Do control C, control V. And put one over near the refrigerator. We can control C and control V a fan and put it there in the center. We can control C, control V and put one in the bathroom. We're going to put one in the closet and again you can use your, that 
your keyboard uh, arrows in order to fine tune where that goes. Control C, Control V. We'll put that fan there in the center there. And we'll have two lights in here. So again, I'm just Control C, Control V, and placing them roughly in the center of our rooms. We also need one right here in the center of this room. Ideally, we have our last one will be kind of a little outlet or a little light on the porch. So we'll kind of put, just put that there. Next, in order to draw our, all of our lines, you're going to select your line tool. I'm going to go ahead and kind of minimize these and bring up our shape style. In order to, so here we're going to draw a line from your light switch to your light. In order to do that, you're going to first click and drag in order to create a handle. This handle tells the program which direction the line should go first. So we're going to pull this out, let go, and now we can create this curved line. Place it there, then hit escape. Hit your space bar, or you can hit the arrow key. Select your line. Over here in your shape styles, you're going to unclick fill so that it is not highlighted. You're then going to click on the little arrow next to dashes, and you're just going to select that second dash right there. Now we have our curve line going from our light switch to our light. We need to also create one over here. So it has that fill. So just really quickly, we can check off that fill and turn it from a solid line to our dash line. And that is all it takes. So for this one, it's going to be roughly the same. So again, you're going to click, drag, then let go. Bring it over here. You can click and, no. Nope. From there, click and drag. There we go. Go to another point, click, drag, and bring that over. Hit escape. Go to our next one. And kind of as you can see, the farther out you click and drag, the more it's going to go in that direction first before it curves into where you want to go. So I kind of want a kind of a more of a curved for this one. So I can drag it pretty far, and now I have a bit more of a curve than if we just went a lot more straighter. So I have all of those. You can hold down Shift in order to select all of them, uncheck the fill, and click that dash. And so I'm going to do that really quick off camera, and then we'll come back and we'll work on our outlets. So here I have finished up connecting our light switches from the rooms into our lights. The only thing that's left is working on our outlets and these are your plug-in outlets. So again we can control C, control V, paste those in here and start kind of putting them in the general spots that we want. So I kind of want one here. Again, we can zoom in, see our little dot, click on it. The lines go towards the wall. So here, Control-C, Control-V, that one. 
and let's just put this one over here on that wall. Let's do control C, control V again. Let's put one over here on this wall. Control C, control V, and put one over here on this wall. If you need to, use your arrow keys in order to align them to where you need to be. Let's do another control C, control V, and I'm gonna put one over here. Again, we can select this, hover over it, control C, control V, rotate this around. So this one is going to be the opposite. If you need to fine tune any of them, you can do click them and use your arrow keys in order to do that. So just like before, I'm going to pause it really quick and place them throughout the building like they are shown in the book. So here we have all of our outlets and really just put them where you think if you were in that room designing that room, where would you put them? And so here in a lot of living rooms, you have a light switch that controls outlets. So if we wanted to incorporate this one into this light switch, Let's do control C, control V, bring over a copy. Let's kind of move that a little bit closer. And here we can draw in our dots. So click and we'll drag pretty far out in order to go there. just like that and select both of our lines come over here uncheck our fill and change that to that I don't need these anymore so I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to select everything so now all of those groups are selected I'm going to come over here to my layers, click on layer, double click where it says layer four for me, and then do electrical plan groups. And so that finishes up our four page blueprints showing them or showing or giving us something to print out that we can show what we've done for our plan set nine. And you can do this for just about any floor plan. Incorporate, create your projects, your project views over here in layout and link it with your SketchUp. So thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for watching this series. Take a look at, the, at our YouTube channel for more series in both SketchUp, Layout, and Revit.